Hello, uh, this is uh, number 34 in my Bible study, and um, I uh, don't, I just, I hope that, uh, that I'm helping people understanding the Bible, and maybe like studying and talking about it, um, getting it out there, um, uh, helps understanding. I would like, uh, I would like to get your takes on the uh, on the passages as well um, because it's weird the internet is kind of slow I'm looking like uh, if, if you're kind of chop, choppy but I would like your um, input on the passages as well I mean I know this is going to be a large segment a large large thing but who knows maybe in maybe by the time I'm 50 I'll have every verse of the Bible on here but anyway, um, this is 34, and uh, Jesus calms the storms. Uh, Matthew 8, 23 through 27. Then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came on the lake, so the waves swept over the boat, but Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds obey him. And um, I just, I mean, that is so like us. Um, to, and I mean, Gal, the uh, Lake, uh, Lake Galilee uh, has some really, really fierce storms I've read. And, um, but still, I mean, just like be so panicky and so be, be worried. But Jesus is just sleeping, calm, relax, uh, calm, relaxed. And, uh, and I, I like that. I, um, I mean, it, it kind of it kind of makes me think about what what a calming presence he has, and I mean, I like um, in Mark uh, four thirty eight. It says, uh, Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? And... Jesus got up and commanded the waves to calm. And... I mean, I also think that this is a parallel of our lives as well. That our lives can be such a storm and such turmoil and we panic and and then we lose faith and and then we ask, God, God, Jesus, Jesus, why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm going going crazy. I feel like I'm going to die, etc. And and it, it just I mean it's I wish I mean the Holy Spirit is with us, but Somehow it just, I wish, it been, must have been so much different um, in, with him, you know? And, uh, and, I mean, it just, I mean, shows the immense power that he had, and, and they asked, like, what kind of man is this? And I mean, it's just, I mean, rhetorically, it, it is the Son of God, it is the Messiah, who can calm the storm. And I remember um, my pastor um, had a sermon on this a, a month or two ago, and, and I mean, talking about how, I mean, disciples, I mean, were startled by that. I mean, maybe even a little scared. And 
and it just I think the key thing is this it said although in Mark um, said uh, uh, why are you so afraid do you still have no faith uh, that's Mark 540 um, compared to uh, here where he said you have little faith why are you so afraid I mean the disciples did not have no did not have no faith that's a double negative they had faith, but it was still, still small, very small, kind of a, just a mustard seed, which as you know, a mustard seed grows and grows and grows. And which is cool because in Mark, the parallel, the parable of the mustard seed is right before the calming of the storm. And and so, I mean, they had faith, but it was little faith. They were still don't fully, un don't fully understand yet, I guess. And I mean, I don't fully understand yet either. I mean, like I keep saying, I'm, I'm just a babe in Christ. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I'm still reading. And... And... Sometimes we panic. And we don't allow him to calm the storm that is in our lives. I mean, I know I do the same. I mean, I get so worried. I, uh, on this paper, for example, that I'm writing, I get so anxious and try to like rewrite a, a simple sentence over and over and over again, and I get paralyzed, and I don't calm down and relax and ask and just ask for help. I panic, and I just say, how can I do this? How can I do this? I mean, uh, and in other things, in other storm, storms in our life, we panic. And when we panic, panic is a sign of little faith. I mean, not of no faith. No faith would be we don't believe in him at all. But it's a sign of little faith. It's a sign of lack of faith. And that's kind of why I kind of beat up on myself because of my anxiety. I mean, I know it's biochemical, but still, that's no excuse. Um, and... But I mean, you saw how the disciples grew. Um, and that's uh, another thing. I, I go somewhere all over the places uh, with, these, uh, with these videos, but I personally think I am, I am like the disciples pre-Pentecost, uh, pre um, resurrection. Um, I, I, I believe, I believe in God. Uh, I, I see my life being changed, but yet I don't feel as boldly as Peter, um, uh, and, uh, um, and, uh, Paul, and, um, uh, and the disciples, especially when you read how they, uh, how, um, in Acts, how in, uh, I mean, how in Acts, um, they beaten, go in jail, and then let out, and, uh, uh, conti uh, continue to preach the good news, but I, 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 I'm not at that place yet. I want to be, but I'm not. It's still the plagues, plagues of doubt. But I mean, that's the thing. We just have to let, let, let our own fears and panic go and just let God. It's easier said than done, though. God bless.